What's going on out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with a very special video uh, for all of you wonderful people out there. Now, a lot of people, you know, be, they're always getting bored of GTA and going on to something else, but most people always come back. And the reason they come back to GTA is, you know, I mean, at least in our community, in the glitch community, it's all about glitches, man. So this video right here, I'm going to showcase four solo glitches and by no means are any of these new, but it's a reminder of some of the things we can do in this game other than just money glitches. It's not all about money glitches and like nice cars and stuff and nice things. It's about the other things we can do in this wall breaches, launches, you know, things like that. All right. Glitches that just aren't meant to be in the game, but they are. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to be going over four glitches that you can do solo. Obviously with friends, it's way better. But uh, yeah, some god mode wall breaches that you can shoot out of, fly under the map, breaching into a tugboat, and never falling off any bike, all right, in the game. So as for the first wall breach, go to this location right here. It's pretty much right down the street from the Eclipse Penthouse uh, Suites. So I recommend, there's a few ways to do this, but I'm going to show you the really fun way you can do with friends. Get this bike, the Hokuchu. It's like 15 grand. It's pretty cheap. And what you want to do is actually try to hit that flower pot the way that you see me doing it. And if you hit it in a good way, check it out. You can actually hit it, pop a wheelie right before you get to it. And at a medium speed, and you can actually just fly straight up into this ceiling and go right through it and actually just chill like right up here. All right. Now, this is just a fun one to do. I'll show you a few different ways on actually how to get up into this location. But uh, yeah, I mean, these are great for, you know, a nice little screenshot right here for a screensaver, maybe a background of yours, um, you know, and a nice little challenge too. maybe, you know, some friendly wagers with a couple friends of yours. Now, apart from that, what sucks is you can't shoot through this. So this is one of those breaches that's mainly just for fun. Uh, you know, it doesn't have much use until I show you in a little while actually what else you can do with it But you can walk a little ways around here uh, Be careful right here in this area check it out. I actually completely fell under the map and uh, There we go. You can actually parachute and you, you know, you can kind of fly under the map for a little while if you really want to uh, Check out the sunset from under the map. I love under the map, you know wall breaches because you can actually search for some pretty interesting stuff and uh, don't worry about falling. Remember, like most of these breaches and under the map stuff, if you fall, you'll just eventually spawn right up on top of the ground. All right. Now, I'm actually doing this one with a Sanctus, you know, the Halloween bike that pops wheelies really easily. So I'm going to go ahead and do it with this right here and check it out. You can actually fly off the bike. So the bike won't always make it up there, but you can fly right off the bike and launch into the ceiling yourself. So like I said, something really fun just to do with friends if you want to just, you know, goof around one day. Now, apart from that, you can also, like, if you're just lazy and you don't want to do that, you know, and you're tired of it, just get a Deluxo and check it out. You can just grab a Deluxo and literally just go right through it super easily. And um, you can actually just fly under the map with your Deluxo. And this is something that a lot of people have been doing recently. Uh, before the Deluxo came out, we just had the motorcycle method on how to do it. But once this came out, you know, we had this method. Now, I don't show it here, but if you do this in a public session, you can actually shoot people from under the map. And the, the, the missiles from the Deluxo will actually lock onto people. And you can take them out right from under the map. So have fun, man. Explore the game. That's what it's about. Remember, I said this is all about reminding you guys what else there is to do in GTA. So explore. Now, for the next wall breach, you go to this location right here in the map, all right? And uh, this is one way to get there if you want to climb up, uh, because sometimes it is a little difficult if you have an oppressor or something to just, like, hop off and parachute there. Uh, but, you know, you do have that method. You can also just get up there with a the Deluxo. But this is the actual route you want to take, or route, you know, tomato, tomato, uh, you know, <laughs> that you want to take to actually get up to this uh, this roof right here. And you see this little cone, like, you know, this little, you know, cone-looking thing right there up on the tippity top of the tower we're going to be breaching into that actually all right and the way you want to do it is you want to actually climb up and be very careful because you can die pretty easily all right if you don't really know what you're doing but at this point we still didn't know what we were doing and then we figured it out what you actually have to do is you have to take out a weapon and what you want to do is actually aim and uh, shout out to bmx for helping me out with a lot of the clips in this video but uh what you want to do is take out a weapon aim directly at the little cylinder or the little cone and hop up and then while still holding left trigger, uh, you know, hold left trigger once you pop up. So look, I'm going to press, you know, climb, hold left trigger and just on the left stick, pull back. OK, so if that was a little too confusing, hold left trigger aiming at the cone. And then once you climb up, 
you're gonna hold left trigger again and pull back on the left stick and that's how you'll just fall nicely right in there and you see this breach is awesome because you can actually shoot through it um, you are in God mode as you can see he's shooting me with a minigun right now it is God mode but you must be careful like most of these breaches like the tree breaches and stuff you got to be careful with explosives okay so against guns as long as you're not peeking out like any part of your body is peeking out you should be fine and check it out even with an RPG uh, you can actually shoot through all this stuff and um, you're gonna see right here actually when my guy goes to reload that when you when you go to reload sometimes depending on where you're standing you see he's like trying and then he can't do it it's all it's just a weird like glitch in a in, in and of itself god I'm like stuttering there um, but yeah so just keep turning around and he'll eventually just reload but you can go into a public session man and do this I mean a lot of people won't really know where you are it's a great camping spot and it's a great location if you look where it's at right down the street from Del Perro you know uh, Eclipse is a little bit north from here so there's always a lot of you know activity here especially on ps4 you know this is on xbox but on ps4 man the lobbies are crazy um but yeah so here's actually a clip of bmx going into this same breach and i'm going to be shooting at him and i'm going to show you with explosives just how it is so remember he's aiming he climbs up holds left trigger and pulls back on the stick all right pulls back on the left stick and then just like that nice and easily he can just pop right in to the little you know cone now uh, what he's gonna do is with the explosives what you want to do is back up so you see if I'm shooting this side he wants to back up to the other side and check it out you see he's not dying so it is God mode you just have to be careful where you're standing obviously if he was standing really close to this wall that I am or, you know the part of the cone that I'm shooting at if he was standing too close to it it would hit him and he would be taken down but because he's actually backed up and he's on the other side of it it's not actually getting them so it is god mode you just have to be careful where you're standing if you see somebody about to shoot you with an explosive just be careful all right so now this one a lot of people don't really know about this is the tugboat wall breach all right uh this one most people don't even realize that there's a tugboat parked in here but yeah you see there's a tugboat docked right here and um don't mind bmx he's actually about to kill me real soon but you see that he just climbed right in inside the tugboat and I'm about to start shooting him to prove that he can't die and he just takes a shot at the big you know gas tank <laughs> takes me out along with my oppressor it's all good he's the one that spent the 20 grand not me so I'm gonna go ahead and run back over to this area and since he's still in that breach I'm just gonna show you you know I'm gonna shoot a few missiles at it and I'm gonna show you that it is indeed God mode once again now the same as the other one that you know in the case that if you are standing too close to the front of this area where I'm shooting at this wall then yeah th these missiles can get you if you go to the side you know and he's too close to the side then yeah and obviously bullets explosives nothing is gonna go through that it's just the explosion from the RPG that can get you if you're too close but this is the spot right here if you look at this little box uh, whatever it really is on the tugboat you can see right there if you just walk towards it and just climb up boom you will go right into it and it's actually a pretty cool view and as you can see i can shoot him that was hitting him right in the leg you saw blood and everything so you can actually shoot through this you can shoot missiles as well you can shoot anything you want to get your opponents now this breach i would say is more aimed towards maybe you and a friend uh, you know go into a public session you guys put bounties on each other like you know like you know nine thousand dollar bounties and what you guys can actually do is go ahead and just chill right here and wait for people to come by and try to get you guys and you can take them out as they're coming in through the entrance over there I'm pretty sure some cops are gonna come in right over there and you're gonna see that I'm able to take them out just by shooting them right here but uh yeah as you can see I think right over here yeah you see that you can actually take people out so there you go all right now for this glitch this is the never fall off the oppressor glitch uh, you do need an Avenger for this and uh, you can do this with any bike basically but you need the Avenger to actually go into the um, you know the actual you know Avenger so go ahead and exit the vehicle and while you're standing there what you want to do is go to play quick job and actually go over to the high section all right I think you can do this with a regular Lester text but for everybody who doesn't have one just make sure you do join lobby direct and just wait the allotted amount of time it took me only 20 seconds on this one but uh, yeah once you're in there all you got to do is simply back out of the lobby okay make sure you back out before they start you know start the actual heist but uh yeah right now it's gonna reset my stuff that's okay don't really care about all the criminal mastermind stuff I'm not going for that I got plenty of money on this account so once I'm fully loaded in I'm just gonna simply back out like that 
fast forward and you should be spawning just walking out of the uh you know of the area or of the actual apartment where the heist was taken part and uh yeah once you do that go ahead and call out an oppressor or really any bike you want the oppressor is much more fun because you can do a lot with it and check it out you will never fall off of this thing all right, you can die and the oppressor can get damaged, all right? It can get really damaged up and explode and everything. But as long as you don't die, the glitch will be good. Uh, it, <laughs> as you can see right there, man, you can do some crazy stuff, make some crazy montage videos or some clips to show your friends, you know, if you really want to. If you guys want, man, I mean, go on my Twitter and show me clips of you guys doing really fun stuff with these glitches. You know, that's what it's all about, man, having fun doing different things. It's a sandbox. GCA is amazing, all right? There's a reason it's the most sold game in U.S. history, and that's not even a joke. It literally is the most sold game in U.S. history, and it's for things like this. Glitches have kept this game alive alive for many people in the community and uh yeah you know take advantage of this stuff man the, we don't have games like this every day so yeah i think that's gonna be it for me though guys i hope you enjoyed this video and uh you know i found some pretty cool stuff to do other than money glitches all the freaking time so yeah my name's roll easy make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope gta5 online content peace out everybody